some uh, some of us who uh, some alumnus who went to AUI and now uh, are uh, doing uh, interesting stuff in their uh, in their lives. Uh, my next guest, and I'm really excited to have her with us, Dr. Kawsar Al uh, Magrawi, live from New York. She's a principal research scientist at uh, IBM Research uh, Center, and she is gonna uh, share with us her experience and how. Uh, she went from AUI to uh, IBM, and I'm going to have her with me in a few. Hello, Dr. Kawsar uh, Magrawi. How are you? Ahlan wa sahlan. Alhamdulillah, na bekhair. Assalamu alaikum. Shukra lil hudur al-kareem. You are from uh, New York. I think uh, it's what time? It's early morning uh, there, yeah? Uh, it's uh, nine, almost 9.30 in the morning. 9.30. Okay, in the morning. Thank you for... Uh, I'm, uh, thank you for being here uh, at uh, this pleasure. time on a Sunday. On a Sunday. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, how are you dealing with the lockdown uh, so far? We're trying to adjust like everyone else. Uh, it's not easy, you know. Lots of different challenges that we have to adapt to. Mm. Uh, working from home, uh, which is not easy. But, you know, uh, thank God we have a lot of collaborative online platform that allows you to still do your work. Yeah. Uh, we also have to manage, you know, online education for our kids um, and uh, basically adjust. So stay positive yeah. like everybody has been echoing. Uh, try to stay positive and to make the best out of it. We knew technology was amazing, but uh, yeah. <laughs> today it's proven that we could do a lot of things with technology. Some things are irreplaceable, unfortunately, but uh, technology can take us in a, in a, in a big leap. So, uh, Dr. Khautzal Magrawi, I will not interrupt you. Take us through your story. We are all ears. Thank you so much. Uh, pleasure to be here with all of you. Uh, actually, this brings me lots of great memories. Uh, it also makes me feel a little old. Uh, thinking back, you know, maybe 25 years ago when I first saw the announcements in the news, you know, watching from uh, from my, uh, you know, uh, living room, Ben Sliman, I was really excited when I saw the announcement about Al Akhawain. And uh, this is where I want to mm. go. Um, it was challenging at the beginning because uh, I didn't have the means, my parents couldn't afford it. But I was very lucky to get a scholarship, which is something great, you know, that Al Akhawain provides. And that, you know, enabled uh, me to go and then study in uh, one of the top universities in Morocco. So it's really a privilege. Mm. Uh, for me, Al Akhawain was transformative, you know. Like completely different persons. Uh, so uh, you learn lots of skills, you know, first, you know, the academics, which is very important. But also you come out, you know, with skills around, you know, time management, research, organizational skills, working with, you know, teams, uh, critical thinking. All of those skills are very important, you know, set you, you know, for the rest of your life to be ready for your career and so on. So I think those skills were very key. And, you know, I imagine Ken's also shared some of those to be able to adapt to change, to be able to work in teams, do extracurricular activities. Yeah. Um, some of our my first experiences also happened at AUI, like traveling outside of Morocco, representing Al Akhawain in uh, competitions like the ACM programming competition was really a great experience for me. Uh, you know, also learning to commit to success, commit, you know, uh, do the best you can in everything. Uh, so Al Akhawain, you know, gave me that framework, you know, to grow, mature up and kind of be equipped with really good skills to just go and conquer the world. So I entered a very shy girl, not knowing, you know, how to handle myself, not confident, but, you know, when you uh, exit, you're, you feel like uh, the sky is the limit. You can really do great things. Um, so after Al Akhawain, you know, I spent a couple of years teaching at Al Akhawain, which is also a great experience. Uh, and during Al Akhawain, I had lots of opportunities, you know, to work, you know, in the library, to work in the dorms, to teach, you know, to teach also some classes, to uh, work with professors, you know, to mentor other students and so on. So, I mean, kind of, you know, getting those uh, kind of professional skills along the way, so which was also a very good opportunity. Um, and then after that, I also, you know, got a lot of mentorship from my professors, you know, uh, the president of Al-Akhawain, Dr. Amin Ben Said, was a great mentor to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Dr. Kevin Smith also was a great mentor to me. So they all, you know, uh, still their lessons and their encouragements and so on, they're very key. So having, you know, strong leadership 
and strong examples at the university also uh, kind of empower you and uh, give you really good examples. Uh, so after Allah Hawain, you know, I came to the U.S. and uh, you know, at the beginning it was it was a difference, but I I didn't feel like the shocking experience coming to the U.S. because a lot of the foundations and those soft skills that yeah. the students have been talking about kind of help you to adapt quickly to a new environment. Uh, so doing my PhD, you know, was a great experience. But, you know, also now, uh, you know, after that, I joined IBM Research uh, as a research scientist. And, uh, you know, all of those skills really come very handy, the, the ones that you learn at the university. Uh, so right now I am doing research in the area of artificial intelligence, Deka Stenai, so Alimat Abhat, Marcus IBM, and really working with some of the greatest minds, uh, people who graduate from top schools from MIT, Harvard, EPFL, from all over the world. So uh, another thing I'm very passionate about, women in technology. So I uh, co-chair uh, the uh, Arab Women uh, uh, compute Arab Women in Computing organization, which is a global organization with different chapters all over the Arab world and also in the U.S. and Canada and France and so on. And our goal is to empower women to uh, pursue STEM uh, computing degrees and so on. So uh, I would like to give back to my country and yeah. to the Arab world. Uh, so that's my journey. Uh, lots of exciting things happening. But I owe a lot of the success that I have also to the foundational skills, uh, whether it's soft skills or academic skills and the education that I received at AUI. And you um, talk, uh, doctor, you were talking also about um, mentoring and you also talked about uh, uh, how close we are to faculty and maybe also to, to uh, other components of the university that help us move forward uh, uh, as, uh, as people. And this relationship doesn't just stop, it just like spreads over time. Even though we leave uh, the university, uh, we may leave it physically, but we never leave it really because we're always linked to, uh, to AUI in our journey. Definitely, you know, I still have very strong connections with uh, students, uh, fellow alumni from Al uh, There is a wonderful AI uh, alumni association where we kind of force connections, do collaborations, uh, uh, and I'm hoping we'll continue to do uh, more of that. Like right now, uh, yeah. I am actually uh, co-chairing a conference track as part of the largest uh, conference of women in computing with uh, Bushra Bukatta, which is another Al uh, alumni. Uh, so, uh, you know, we've done lots of collaborations like this. Uh, the Arab Women in Computing organizations, you know, the way we started the chapter in Morocco is another alumni uh, from mm. Al Akhawain, uh, Huda, Huda, you know, from uh, Shakir from Al Akhawain. So, all of those connections, you know, that you build at Al Akhawain really go a long way. So, keep those connections, nurture them. You never know, you know, you can even have startups and, uh, yeah. you know, start big companies and initiatives with the people that you've been studying with and uh, connecting with. So that exactly. social networking and building strong network really goes a long way. I, w I wanted to uh, maybe ask you a last uh, question. Thank you very much uh, uh, for, for sharing because it's uh, really inspiring to, to 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 hear you and to hear your your uh, your journey. Uh, my last question, and maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna play on the uh, nostalgia string here. Uh, what is the the thing you you miss the most, maybe uh, from AUI? Uh, I miss a lot of things, uh, but what I miss, uh, I think, the most is. Uh, I think the time we used to spend in the computer lab really yeah. late at night, you know, <laughs> trying to solve problems. And those were very, very uh, special moments. Like yeah. students, you know, uh, around our computers, uh, having fun and working and so on. Uh, and also I miss, you know, some of the excitement, you know, that happened anytime, you know, you uh, solve something or like yeah. when we won the uh, ACM programming competition that was held for the first time. Uh, that was really exciting. Uh, and then we went to Egypt to represent uh, AUI uh, for the first time, actually, in Morocco. Uh, yeah. So lots of different exciting moments. I think it's hard to uh, pinpoint one of them. But, you know, that connection that we had, it was like a family that we built. Yeah. Um, so 
yeah, really great moments. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kassar Al Magrawi, for uh, sharing with us and being with us on this uh, first episode of the webinar. Uh, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks, everyone, and all the best to all the prospective students. Thank you. Thank you. Uh